the new flagship camera in the XF range, the XF705. Um, quite a lot of new stuff on this. It's the first camera of its type to feature HEVC, H.265 compression. Uh, what a bold move, uh, and Canon the first to bring this to the market at this level. Why do we do that? Well, there's a more demand for 4K. Um, but 4K files are very big files. Um, raw files, for instance, on the Cinema Raw Lite for the C200, where it comes in at one gig per second. So we needed to look at a way to give you 4K with the right quality and the right type of file to allow full expo exploitation of that file to give you the result you need. So using HEVC with H.265 compression does that. It also means we can record to SD cards, which are very much lower in price than proprietary cards for other cameras uh, and for CFast2 cards. And this is a real benefit because the sensation after when you shoot in 4K is exactly for regarding data storage. It's the same sensation when you shoot in uh, full HD. We can also do HDR uh, direct to the camera. Now, up until now, HDR has been predominantly a post-production workflow, um, involving many hours at a, at a grading desk and put, applying LUTs. There are cameras out there that can do that, and we can now too. The first benefit for me is the, the lens quality, 4K, 4K lens quality. It's really something powerful because, uh, as all the people know, Canon is uh, at the beginning an optical factory. So I trust, and it's really the, the reason I loved the, the brand, because of, of the quality of the lenses and all the ranges. Recording is in 422 10-bit, uh, which is really now the de facto sort of bit rate and colour sampling that you need for, for broadcast. We've also got some connectivity on this as well with 12G SDI, which means 4K out on a single cable and HDMI as well, and also 16 uh, megs per second live IP streaming. The lens is 15 times optical zoom lens with image stabilisation, 5-axis stabilisation, dual pixel CMOS autofocus uh, and the focus assist feature that we'll also find in the, uh, in the Cinema EOS and some of the XF series. And one final piece on the recording specification is quite, is quite a good one that we're now featuring for the first time on a non-Cinema EOS camera, Canon Log 3. So the traditionalists who want to go back to grading it for HDR can also do that in that way as well. This kind of product gives also a lot of assistance for end users. So you can, each year, year after year, it's more easier to work with this kind of tool because now I can concentrate only on creativity and emotion.